Hey folks, welcome to another Hero Press Tip of the Week. Last week, we looked at RSS, what it is and how it works. And this week, I'm going to show you several different ways that you can use it. We're looking here at a homepage. It's a blog URL with one post about San Juan, Puerto Rico. And on the right here, we have a sidebar. So the first thing we're going to do is put some new content in the sidebar with RSS. So we go over here to the HeroPress page, and up here on the right is an icon. That's the RSS icon. Uh, mine is not colored, but if it were, it would be orange, and I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, but if you simply click it, you'll find an RSS feed. And so you just copy that URL, and we'll go back to this page, and we are going to go to the widgets area. And the first thing I'm going to do is add a header, which is not really related to RSS. I just need a header. Hero Press Essays. And then we put in RSS. And we put in our URL right here and use URL. And there we have headlines. Now, if I update this and go back to the home page, you'll see that now we have Hero Press essays right there. And you can do that with any RSS feed. So you could populate your site with an enormous amount of content just with RSS. But I want to show you a little bit more about this widget because we can also display author. And now you can see who wrote those essays. You can display date. So you can see when. I'm going to turn that off because I don't care so much about that. And you can optionally display the excerpt. Now, once you do that, it gets pretty long. And so we can do things like only show the two most recent. So we go back and look at that. Now it's kind of mushed together. Um, this is the default styles for this theme, which is cadence. Um, and out of the box, cadence doesn't come with a whole lot of styles because it's for building a theme. Uh, so you could use CSS to make this bigger and bolder, uh, make the, the author italicize or whatever. Um, but that's up to you. The point is that you can do some pretty great stuff. Um, you can also change the length of the excerpts. There we go, 30. So that shortens them up quite a bit. There we go. Now, another one I want to show you, uh, this is a podcast I love called the Roadhouse Podcast. It's, it's audio. Uh, it's music. So I'm going to... Uh, right here it says show feed. FeedBurner is a service that Google provides that gives you a consistent address for your for your feed. Um, so you still just grab the URL. You'll note that it doesn't look like RSS because it has a CSS file attached, but it is RSS, even though it's a podcast, even though it doesn't look like it. So we're going to go back over here and put in a header again, Roadhouse Podcast. And you'll see it says type slash to choose a block. So I'm going to slash RSS, hit enter, paste my URL, hit enter again. And there I have it. Now, this one's kind of boring. Uh, it doesn't really say much at all. And so over here, we would want to uh, show the date if you want. I happen to know that it publishes every Saturday, so I don't really care. And people who listen are going to know the same thing. Um, but excerpt is going to be really useful because it talks about what is on the show. So I'm going to, again, go down to two items. And I might want more in the excerpt. There, now I get the whole excerpt. So I go back and refresh. And now I have information about this podcast. 
And if you click the headlines, it goes directly to that episode. Now, another way I want to show you that you can use RSS is within posts itself. So we're going to edit this post for visiting San Juan. And click edit. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make a row because I'm using cadence. It has this really nice row layout thing. And I'm going to make it a two column with wider on the left. And then in here, I'll throw in another header. We'll call it San Juan events. And I'm going to, oh, not that. I'm going to make it extra light. I like it like that. So then type in RSS. And I found earlier this cool page for things going on in Puerto Rico, San Juan. And remember I said the RSS icon is usually orange. There it is. So I simply click it. And this also is on feed burner. You can see there. So I'm going to copy that URL and put it right here. And there we go. Now these are events. And so for events, I'm probably going to want a date. We can do author, except it's always Gwen because she manages the site. Um, optionally, again, excerpt. And we'll make that shorter. And we'll make it do two. And then over here on the left, I'm actually going to continue my blog post about how great Port, uh, San Juan is. And so this makes like a pull quote over here on the right. Um, in fact, I'm going to, uh, there we go. Uh, background settings. We'll make it pale blue. And padding and margin, we'll put in 20 on the right, 20 on the left, update. And uh, no, let's do this, view post. So you have this cool pull quote. Now you'll note that there's uh, some indenting here. In the editor, you can see there are bullets my theme removes them. So you could use CSS to remove the padding on the left here and you would get a lot more, like this would come all the way over here and it would look a lot better. Um, but again, that's that's CSS and design. We're not talking about that so much as getting content in here. Um, if this were mine, I probably wouldn't do the excerpt. But people want to know when it is and I'd probably do several more things. Um, and for me, it was a little too far or too close to the right sidebar. So I'm going to put in ooh, 20. Let's see if that does what I want. No, not really. It just squished it a little bit. So if I, to get the effect that I want of moving this over, I'd probably have to put it on the row, but that's for another video. Um, what I really wanted to show you is that right here in the middle of a blog post, you can drop in content relevant to your post that comes from another site. It's automatically updated. Um, so events will get added to this without you having to do anything, and they'll drop off the end as they expire. Now, another thing I wanted to show you, uh, so far it's been how to use RSS as a website developer, how to add content to your site. But you can also use it as a consumer. This is what's called an RSS reader. This is called Fresh RSS. I installed it myself, kind of like WordPress. Um, but there's another one called Feedly. So Feedly is similar to what I just showed you. Um, but what's cool about it is you put in RSS feeds, and then it sorts them. So under News, uh, I follow 
Linux Today. And here are the three most recent Linux Today articles. I, slash, I follow Slash.Science. And here are the latest Slash.Science articles. There's WordCamp Europe. Miriam Webster, Word of the Day. WordPress Planet. Podcasts. Right now, it's just uh, WP Podcasts. However, if I were to go to the Roadhouse and grab that, uh, I'll show you how to add a new feed real quick. Just put in the URL, my podcast category, and hit add. And we'll go back to our RSS feeds. And now I have the Roadhouse. Now I have a lot of them because I haven't been keeping up. But the cool thing is, with podcasts, it includes an audio player. And you probably can't hear this, but it's playing audio for me right now. So you can follow a podcast right in your web browser if you wish. And uh, it's a little tedious for hour-long episodes like this, but if you have a, a podcast that has like one minute or something, it's really easy to just pop it in your RSS reader here. Um, I use this to keep up with news from... Uh, WordPress forums, um, all of the support forums on WordPress.org have their own RSS feed. So you could follow a particular topic in your reader and see new uh, new posts as they're added, things like that. Uh, so RSS is not just for putting content into your website. It's also intended to be consumed by you. So anytime you're at a site that you like, you want to follow, um, look for the orange icon here, or if it's WordPress, you can just type slash feed at the end and you'll get an RSS feed of whatever it is you're looking at. So to sum up, you can easily use RSS to fill your site with content from other sites. Uh, if you're careful, you get it relevant to your own content and it adds a lot of interest with very little labor on your part. Uh, you can drop RSS right into your posts to enhance your content that you're writing on a day-to-day -day basis. And then you can also consume it with an RSS reader, either when you install yourself like I did or a commercial one like Feedly. I hope you find it useful.